Okay, I am going to try to make this quick. I've already put my powder in my powder measure, and I have an approximate setting uh, that I need to check. But what I do is get my little Dixie cup again, and I cycle the powder measure usually about 20 times, really. Kind of slowly and carefully, but mostly just to get it settled and make sure that I've got a good flow going through it. It, it always settles it out so that my first measurement is accurate, essentially. I want to, you know, there's no hard and fast number, but I want to put usually probably 20. I put like 20 through it. And I've already set up my scale, and uh, I'm going to take a cartridge and see where I'm at with this first throw. I have no idea. I didn't check it off camera or anything. I'm going to see. I'm hoping it's slightly under so that I can trickle up and uh, tap it and make sure I get all of them out because a couple little chunks do stay in the bottom. Sometimes they get in the uh, primer pocket, you know, down the primer hole. So, yep, that actually looks pretty good. So what I would do from here is trickle up. And this one is, you know, some people would not be happy with how far away that was, but that's pretty close. So I do that until I get up to the exact weight I want. And then I would take my cartridge and put the powder in it. And I'll show you that in another step. Okay, and once I've got the correct powder charge in my pan, take my brass, take my funnel, put them together, carefully take the pan off the scale, and pour it in. Sometimes I'll swirl it around to the long grains on a rifle cartridge sometimes get clogged up. I'll swirl it around like this or I'll spin it back and forth like that. Either way, just to get it down. And then I give it a little tap to make sure that it's all clean and then carefully place the pan back on my scale. Now, next thing I'm going to do is put a bullet in the case and then seat it with the bullet seating die. And I'm going to have a separate video showing how to set up the bullet seating die, but right now I'm going to seat the bullet. So I try to keep the bullet as straight as I can in the case. And right here it's going to run up into the bullet seating die. I send it home nice. Sometimes I'll give it a third of a turn or a half a turn and send it home again. And then I check to make sure that I've got my overall length correct. And in this case, it's almost perfect for 308 Winchester. So this is what they look like when they're done. This is the 40 same federal cases I started with several videos ago and this is what they look like when they're finished. This is a 168 grain Hornady match bullet and these are 308 Winchesters. They use the Winchester large rifle primers and Varget powder. Hodgson Varget powder. Hopefully they're going to shoot as well as they normally do. Thank you for your time. Thanks for following along. I'll catch you next time. Have a great day.